Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third Webpack tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about the webpack.config file. Okay, so in the last tutorial what we did was create two scripts and then we used Webpack to bundle them together into this bundle.js using this command right here. Webpack, then we define the entry point, script1, and said where we want to output the bundle. Okay, now in this file I want to create a webpack.config file which means that we don't have to write this stuff every time. We just have to write webpack and that's going to run it for us. So all of this configuration is going to be in the webpack.config file and we can store other configuration in it as well. So let's get rid of that first of all. And then what I want to do is right click over here and create a new file called webpack.config.js. So this is just a JavaScript file which is going to hold all the configuration for webpack. And the first thing we want to do is say module dot exports equals an object so all the configuration is going to go in this object right here so the first thing I want to do is define an entry point and remember the entry point was the script one file and the reason this is the entry point is because this is the one requiring other modules okay so in this entry file we might have several different requires it might be requiring several different modules and bringing them all into this file so that's why this is the entry point okay so let's go to our config file again and define that entry point and the way we do it is by saying entry and then storing this in a string so it's dot forward slash and then what I'm gonna do is create a source folder in a minute so I'm gonna say source and then script hyphen one dot JS okay so let's save that a second and I want to create a source folder so I'll say new folder SRC and then this is how we typically do it. We'd keep all of our source files in a source folder and then we'd output them all to a distribution folder when they're done. So the bundle will output to the distribution folder. So we're keeping it all separate rather than all in one directory like this. So let's move those scripts to the source folder like that. And in fact, I'm just gonna delete this bundle because we're gonna redo it in this tutorial. So let's delete that, move to trash. Okay, cool. So there we've defined our entry point. Next, what we want to do is define our output point. So we'll say define output point. And similarly, we need to say output. And then this time it's not a string, it's going to be an object. Okay. And by the way, don't forget that comma there because these are just properties in an object. So in this output property, we want two other properties. The first one is going to be the path. And that's going to define the path to the folder we want to output to. So that's going to be a distribution folder. So I'll call it dist. Okay, that's going to be the name of the folder. And we don't need to create that folder here. It's going to create it for us automatically when we run Webpack. So let's comma and do our second property, which is file name. So the file name we want to output to in this distribution folder is going to be bundle.js. Okay, cool. So now we've defined our entry point and we've defined our output point, much like we did before when we did that webpack command. So let's save this now. And this time we can just say webpack enter. And then that is gonna run webpack for us and it's gonna create this distribution folder right here, you see? And inside there we have that bundle. Cool. But the index.html file is not linking to this bundle because now it's in a different location, the distribution folder. So this time, let's go to index.html and say forward slash dist forward slash bundle. So now it's looking in this folder. So now we can save it again. And when it refreshes, it still works. Tempest Fusion. Okay. So now what we've done is created a webpack.config file. It's just a JavaScript file with module.exports in it. And that's going to be an object with all your config in it. In this tutorial, all we've done is defined our entry point where we're finding the initial file and where we're outputting the bundle to, right there. Okay, but we can do more things in this config file, which we're gonna do as we go along through this tutorial. 